It's great to have you with you with us. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Women in Backgammon, it's a nonprofit organization dedicated to promoting women's participation, place, and preeminence in competitive backgammon. We're very pleased to host these monthly backgammon expertise learning sessions. Um, these are teaching matches, there's commentary uh, by the players as they play, and then it's followed um, by a question and answer period. So please, uh, one, stay on mute, um, uh, but also be preparing questions and inner questions in the chat um, feature. So uh, with that, Frances Pearson with Women in Backgammon is uh, uh, running the very, very part involved. of this. Any announcements, Frances, that you have for the audience? Just to echo what uh, Karen said, if you get muted, uh, that's just because I've muted you. We try to keep everyone muted while Ken and Karen are playing. Um, like Karen said, feel free to put anything in the chat uh, that you want. Um, interspersed throughout the game, I'm happy to read out your question. Uh, and then at the end, you can go off mute as soon as they're done playing and everyone can ask their questions as Kent and Karen are going through um, the analysis. And uh, this is being recorded. Um, we will put this up on YouTube at the end of um, or later this week. So if you don't want to be on the video, just take your video off. Um, and that's about it. Thank you, Francis. Uh, just a quick note about upcoming sessions. Uh, we're pleased to have Chris Bray from the UK and an up and coming young player, uh, Safi Tracy from the UK, who will be our guests on sep uh, Tuesday, September 13th. Um, to accommodate their time zone, that will be held at noon Eastern time. Uh, and we're delighted to have on today Kit Wolsey and Candace Mayer on. They will be our guests in October, October 11th, Tuesday, October 11th at our regular 7 p.m. time. And with that, I'm pleased to introduce um, uh, our featured player this evening, uh, Kent Goulding. Kent Goulding is a long time friend of mine uh, of late, we've been trying our luck at playing doubles together, and I've just benefited immensely uh, from his insight and commentary um, during our doubles matches, but then particularly uh, his in-depth analysis after, after the match. So it's going to be a real treat to play a five-point match with him this evening on I'm Beck Emma Galaxy. For those of you who are familiar with uh, Kent Golding, or I sometimes slip into calling him KG for short, he was inducted into the American Beck Emma Hall of Fame in 2015, part of the inaugural cohort. Uh, his citation noted that he's esteemed uh, not only as a Beck Emma player, but as a publisher, director, organizer, witty auctioneer, rock contour extraordinaire. So um, any of you have had the treat of, of listening uh, to him uh, as an auctioneer know what I'm talking about. Uh, he auctioneered Candace Mayron's um, uh, Los Angeles Open recently um, in June. He developed the first rating system uh, for backgammon and uh, directed along with uh, Bill Roberti, the World Cup, introducing the first introduced clocks into tournament play and also a recording of um, matches. He uh, was on the Giants of Backgammon's list uh, for six consecutive times since its inception. Uh, won uh, many uh, tournaments, but most notably the Tournament of Champions at Paradise Island in the Bahamas in 1978. A lot of us remember, and he has in his background, uh, the covers of Backgammon with the Champions was, was published uh, from 1981 to 1982, and also a publisher of Inside um, Backgammon. So um, 
Uh, great, great to be playing with him today. Uh, more recently, um, he did well in the LA Open, placing fifth in the Masters jackpot, uh, also in the Cherry Blossom in the Washington, D.C. area, where he was third, fourth in the Super Jackpot and third in the championship, uh, third, fourth in the championship division. So um, coming back to the world of back end, it's a real treat to have him. It's a real treat to play doubles with him. Uh, we were lucky to be third and fourth in the Cherry Blossom doubles event. And we won the big freeze February 2022. Um, uh, doubles event. I think all of you by now know me, so we're going to skip uh, introduction. It was a thrill to join uh, uh, KG in the American Backgammon Hall of Fame in 2020, 21, and uh, most recently um, to play uh, without placing in the Backgammon uh, World Championship. I'm still alive in the online uh, World Women's um, championship. But with that, I'm going to share my screen and KG and I are going to go over to uh, Back Emmy Galaxy and start our um, five point match. Are you creating or am I creating? You're going to create the um, five point match and I'm going to find you and join you. Gammon Galaxy, huh? And we're playing casual, right? Yes, that's good. Mm -hmm. Ha, I've done it. Are we underway? Yes. All set. All right, five, four, played the new way. Um, back in the dark ages of backgammon, we were constantly working on offense, offense, offense. So five, four, I would have brought the builder down, but now uh, more modern play is to focus more on activating the back checkers. So thus the split oh. five, four, instead of the attacking play. Wow. Well, this is a lot of stuff. One, two, three, four. In new play, exit the interior court ace. So I've got a huge racing lead, one checker to escape. My opponent hasn't done much of anything, but I can't really make any progress. I can't do anything that... Uh, would really hurt her, so I'm not going to bother. Well, I'm torn here between uh, attacking on the 21 point and just starting to build my board, but I'm gonna try the board. Yeah, well, for the first time I, I have, I have threats, but I don't think they're big enough. I could be wrong. Um, almost in the racing lead. I bring my blot home safely. I build a point. And then maybe I build it. Well, I'll just keep building my board and hope for a shot. Yeah, the question now is, can I roll something like double fives or double sixes and lose my market? There are certainly, certainly rolls I can roll where if I double next turn, my opponent will be more than happy to exit. But most rolls really don't, don't contain much of a threat. I suppose I can hit loose off the ace point with some awkward rolls and then uh, 
if she comes in high double, but wouldn't miss my market by a lot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Now the goal here, right or wrong, is to force that goalkeeper checker of my opponents forward. If it comes in high, if it comes in on, on my five point, um, I have a pretty nice position. All right, I've seen it. Too many good things can happen here. This is her problem, not mine. Well, I don't see enough good things happening. So I'm gonna let KG have this one. Thank you. Pointing on the two point just leaves leaves too much of a mess. Even though there's a whole lot of numbers that hit me here, I, this is just this just feels better to me. Looks prettier. Hey Kent, there's some back noise like every couple words. Oh, it's my it's, it's, it's the stupid uh, galaxy sound. Okay, yeah, I didn't know if no, it was my the mic or whatever. But if you can, yeah, the trick is to mute galaxy without muting me. Um, is there an as long as you don't hit mute on the Zoom or the computer, you should be good. Yeah, that's the trick. Is there a mute sound effects off? How's that? All right, let's see what happens now. All right, so I'm, I'm trapped still hearing. Now. We're still hearing it. I don't know if it's something maybe like covering your microphone or it wasn't in the first couple minutes. It just started. There's, there's no, there's no ambient noise here now. All right, I don't know what it could be then. At least I don't hear anything. Um, okay, all right, then we'll have to, I don't think there's anything I can do on my end, so. There was the, the sound effects from Galaxy, which right. I have not. Maybe Karen has some sound effects from Galaxy. Yeah, I don't think it's the sound effects. I think it's I think it's just when they talk, but I don't know why it just came on all of a sudden. Can you hear anything now? I don't hear a thing. Yeah, we can, but I'm not sure what we can do about it at this point. All right, what's going on here? We have a priming game. Race is tied, but I have I have some only one back checker. Uh, this would be a frisky double. It would be a frisky double. If I can pop out of there with three, four, three, six, one, six, that would be the end of that. I could build my four point. That would be pretty good. Yeah, let's see what she thinks. Well, this is certainly a tough one. Um... But I'm going to try it. Just build a prime and prepare to jump out. That can't be a bad thing. And not burn too many pips.
the back part of my prime is not that important. I want to try to diversify my checkers to build my four point. That's what that's what that was all about. There we go. Look at that. All right, well, I was hoping, hoping Karen's board would crack some more, but this will have to be. So that was actually a very good roll because it now makes it uh, very difficult for me to catch a second checker to either guarantee the win or to possibly get a gammon. Now I've got this mess to deal with. And I still have to win, which may not, is not a foregone conclusion. And now it is. Or isn't. Stop that. You just need one more of those. All right, last chance. That wasn't to be. Once again, playing uh, to split the back checkers rather than offense. Plus, due to my nice match lead, I want to be involved in anchors and escapes and races as opposed to primes and gammons, if I have a choice. It's always a question to me whether to move up. Marty says disagree with 2418 rather than 11.5 kg second move.
All that for what? All that to give me a, oh, a modest lead here. Look at the match score though. Match score is a little dangerous. I only need two points. She can take and redouble and four points are up for grabs. I have a clear lead in this position. Would certainly double for money. Certainly double at an even score. The question is, do I have enough to double now? Um, Hmm. Slightly shorter race, but one pick worse. Can, um, Marty says perhaps two on better than eight seven. Karen forty one. Race has gotten much closer. So I'm not thinking any nasty, oh, now I can start thinking some nasty thoughts. Which roll here? Okay, down a checker, but up a bunch of pips. That's a lot of pips. I got a hole, a hole and a half in my home board. So I'm sorry, 10 pips, 10 pips. I don't care about the score, let Karen worry about it. Someone said, shouldn't Karen have been doubling in this game more aggressively? I think she missed too many cubes earlier. I don't know about that. <laughs> Still win the silly thing. Or not. Uh, no fair. Well, that was very exciting. There's certainly, we got some stuff to talk about. Um. Well, not surprisingly, we see that KG played at a superhuman level. Well, that's surprising to me, but I'll take it. All right, let's look at um, let's look at went on for the first the first yellow ping. Let me just do a quick quick scan. There aren't that many games. One red dot here. Just we'll go back in a minute. But I just want to see what what where we can spend our Here's time. Here's where I had a five two, so I was eager to grab. Hold on a minute. Are you, the a twenty point, later on. but in fact, grabbing the the twenty two point and jumping out with the five was better. That's interesting. Um. Yeah. Galaxy says. Grabbing my three point and hopping out. Well, isn't that interesting? That's a, it's sort of funny. It, it's, um, I have to admit, I, I would probably have made the play you made, Karen. Um, that's, that's, I'm not sure. The, the, the trick here is do you, should Karen make the, make my three point and then give up the checker on my five point and bring it into the outfield? That's a much better checker distribution. Um, the other play where the back checkers are much better positioned is to make my five point and leave the goalie on the 24 point. Um, but that involves making a bit of a mess with the distribution on the other side of the board, putting five checkers on the eight point. So that's, uh, that's, that's an interesting play. I, it, it's, uh, I wouldn't worry too much about anybody who makes the 20 point and comes down. Um, even you'll notice even making the 20 point and playing eight to three, which is a I like that. way to put that blot there still gives 
somewhat better checker distribution. But I, I like the idea of making the 22 and popping out to the 15. But uh, most humans would be stuck in a rut, would grab the 20 point and then wonder what five to play. So that's uh, that's interesting. This yes. play, it, it's, yeah, um, I think Karen, I think Karen was right with the idea of keeping all of her checkers in play. She's way behind in the race, making the two point doesn't really do much. She's not going to build a prime. She's not going to blitz me. So don't worry about getting hit. And your, your first instincts were correct, Karen. 13, to, even though it leaves blots all over the place, 13 to seven and eight to four hitting leaves all of your checkers in play, unstacks the stack on your eight point. And the race is so bad that even getting hit is not necessarily a bad thing. A fourth checker or even a fifth checker back will just get in my way and they can come back around the board and, and get back into the fight. So I suspected uh, that when you when you made the two point and I liked your idea of, of just keeping all of your checkers in play and hitting. You're so far behind in the race and you can't be hurt by getting hit back, if that makes any sense. Um, here you've got a four three. Yeah, now here I see I had a choice of running to safety or or making a home board point. Uh, I may have played too fast, but I had in my head, get the checker safe, look and see what it looks like, possibly double. Oh, by the way, look at, um, uh, this is very close, very close to, uh, but not quite a double here. See, if I, if I double, it's a, it's a 0 0.03 error, which is almost nothing. So where I'm talking about or thinking about doubling here is clearly right. And I'll be interesting to see, interested to see, well, I, I didn't have a chance the next turn. I did actually, before I rolled six, five. KJ. Yeah. Uh, I think the reason making the four point is better is because if you don't get hit, then you have a very efficient double. Yeah, that may be true. I mean, I, I played too fast. I, I, I stated my goal was to get the checker safe and then assess. So I got the checker safe and didn't really stop to think about other things. Um, it is it is a uh, very close play, by the way. If this is the only error we ever make, we'll be in, we'll, we'll be playing uh, supernaturally. Um, now I'm curious, Karen. Karen uh, built her board as best she could, and now what about a double here? How close does anybody think this is? I didn't get dinged, so it's it doesn't think it's a, a double. But it's, if the last hey, turn was hey, very she, close, hey, hey, she this dropped, also has she? to be close. In fact, you no, know, it's actually a little worse, believe it or not. I don't know why that is. Maybe because Karen's board was built up a little bit, but not quite a double. As you can see, it would be a, a 0.05 error, no, which is well, again, not a huge error. No, that, this, no I, excuse me, it, it is a double. Oh, Marty, Marty, did you have a comment? Marty no, I just wanted I just wanted to say that according to what I see on the screen it is a double. Oh you're right you're you're right. So why didn't I get dinged? You didn't get dinged. You, you the did. pass you, got dinged. You doubled. She passed in a close take. Um No no I'm talking about my 6 before I rolled 65. Oh okay so that was There's that, no that was there's no ding on there. Oh, here. Oh, no, no, it's an error to double. It's a 0.05 error to double. I was looking, once I ran safe with the 4-3, when do I have a double? And it wasn't quite yet, which is what I said when I played it. I was thinking out loud and consistent oh, yeah. there. So I didn't double. Then I rolled 6-5, which does build a home board point. Um, how close would it be to not attack? And I the answer was, is not I, close I was, I was actually, I was this actually is a, this is a huge. This is a huge good roll here. I was actually curious about your 6-5 play. Apparently, it likes it. But I was thinking bringing two men down and then doubling might be more efficient. Well, maybe, but I, I don't know how uh, this, this as, as, it, as looking at uh, the analysis on Galaxy, it's a double whopper and a half to make the, um, to bring the two down. Double whopper and a half. You know, consistent with what I was talking about is, try to drive that checker off my ace point, which is which is what I tried to do with what appa apparently correctly. And then... 10 blot numbers after if you bring two down. 
then the double is uh, very, cl very clear, and it's a borderline take, it looks like. Well, it depends where she comes in. She comes in with a deuce, it's a pretty easy take. Uh, no, I mean the actual, the actual, she came in with a, she came uh, in with a six three. three. I yeah. doubled and, and she had a, uh, a borderline take. Not, not the, again, this is not the sort of error most people should worry about, uh, 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 you know, 0.035 is not, that's not a, that's not a, that's not a real problem. Particularly on a cube decision, that's basically a toss up. Yeah. All right. So that's game one. Uh, any any other questions or comments on game one? Karen said, uh, sorry, Candace said, I thought the person rounding the corner has a double most of the time. Um, I'm not sure I understand what that means, but it might be true. Okay, in this position, I thought that white has a double because white is rounding the corner and has two places to land. Oh, I see, right here. Yeah, yeah, I did double. And so he did. It's a very strong double. You know? That's that's correct. Um, and it's even it, it's stronger still if if Karen didn't have that checker back on the twenty two, where I can just try to clear the midpoint. All right, let's look at game two and see if anything exciting happened there. There was some fun stuff in game one. Game two, um, the first thing was, oh, we get into this prime versus prime. Um, and I'm a little bit surprised that we, 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 we tiptoed through the tulips without any appreciable errors to get to this double fours. And now this is not a big error. Um, I think what's happening, let's see, well, let's look at the detail and see it's saying the thing likes hitting loose. Isn't that interesting? Basically taking half that. your roll That's away. That's not I mean, a play I would find. Basically taking half your roll away at not too much cost. Um, yeah, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to feel too bad about it. Would you find that play kit? No. <laughs> no, neither would I. I. I'm, I'm curious to see what an actual XG double plus thinks of that. That's, uh, 13 to nine. That's nice making that, that, that point, except for that's not what it's suggesting. It's is it suggesting blowing it up 13 to nine. Yeah. It's suggesting blots everywhere. So uh at this level of analysis which i'm sus a little suspicious of uh i wouldn't worry too much about this this particular yellow dot i think karen's play is natural and fine and then i rolled double threes which presents a lot of a lot of possibilities but uh, just making the making the two possible points uh works was it was it close as a question and the answer is no that was, that was the right play by a mile. Then Karen's 3-1 is a small error, but it's it's hard to, it's a hard position to play. The suggested play is just to keep it, keep every, keep, keep the eight point, which makes sense. The eight point is blocking the two point, which is one of the launching spots where the nine point is, isn't blocking anything. It's blocking her own three point. So there's a little bit, there's a little bit better, um, a little bit, you know, you've got four out of five or uh, five out of six points made if you make the eight. That, that's what's going on there. It's, it's a purity thing. Make the points you need as opposed to the other stuff. Well, no, the anchor, I mean, whether the value of the anchor on the other side is the big thing. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not sure the is the anchor on the other side a plus or a minus, or do you want to keep the checker spread out? Oh no, I think it's a plus. Yeah. I mean that's all right. That's, then that's, um so Karen there's not, not much, not enough of a plus, apparently. Right. Now the double, um, which I convinced myself was a good idea, is actually extremely strong. It would be a it would be a huge error not to double. Um, and I think the points are the ones I made out. It's the it's the uh, whatever you, you're the, the black square weaknesses, as we chess players would say, uh, Karen's, uh, you know, 4.8 and that, that eight point we were just talking about. And the fact that if I can step up to her, her two point, I've got an easy way out. And once again, the, the, 
in a weird way in, in Karen's forward position, building her prime, trying to contain me, the last place she really wants to put checkers if she can help it is on her nine point and a place she does want checkers is on her eight point. So it's, and we see that with the next roll or two. It's the, the, the blue position has become somewhat uncoordinated. It kind of requires a joker to get better as opposed to a joker to make it, make it worse, if that makes any sense. Candace so, asks, yeah. why not KG double after Karen's 4-4? Four, four, she is going to crash. Um, let's see how close it was. Because, well, she's not necessarily going to crash, and I've only got a two-point board. Uh, but let's see how close. The answer is... The answer is extremely close. It, it's sort of pick them. It's, it's, a, it's a photo finish. So uh, whoever asked the question, good assessment of what's happening. Uh, as it was, Benobi. doubled Karen's take was, well, it was uh, too close to call. Here it thinks it was not a take by a little teeny, teeny fraction. Um, not to worry about, uh, a, a very tough call. Part of it again is the, the awkwardness, like sixes don't play. Sixes are forced to overrun the four point. Um, now let's see, my two one was a extraordinarily good roll and there's not really a good, it, ju it just allowed me to step up to get out and build a temporary prime. And yeah, that's, that's where not, not having my eight made, my eight point made hurts a lot. Um, yeah, it's, and you, you, you rolled, you rolled a, a, just a bad number, six, five, which just removes your checkers forward and doesn't do, and doesn't do anything good. Um, it likes not leaving a direct shot, but I can't say that I necessarily would have got that right. Uh, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's a terrible thing. It's a very natural thing to try to fill that four point and put a checker there, but apparently it's, uh, it's fraction, just fractionally wrong. It's basically a toss up. Um, I had six, three, which ran away there's some some slight consideration of a position like this could i stay back and wait to catch another checker but not here mm -hmm. i have to break my prime and i'm still all all of karen's checkers are still in front of me so that's no good karen rolled three two and correctly brought them all in built her built her board and killed any sixes to try to keep her timing for some reason it did not like the way i broke my um broke my prime yeah i think it's supposed to break the nine point and keep yeah the that makes point. sense i didn't actually see that i think that's a better play it gives better checker distribution uh, and same, i don't need same. the nine or i don't need the nine or the ten i you know i just need the four well it's the, same, it's the, the same thing better. about I, didn't, I played fast and didn't see it it's I just the same thing fast. thing about your sixes you know going nowhere oh yeah yeah no this was this is an over is an oversight on my part i just played too fast and it was an oversight Note that um, note that that breaking no well yeah he, <laughs> breaking every every play mentioned breaks some point. There's don't don't keep the prime and just bring the blot around. That's that's uh, uh, you don't need you don't you don't even you don't need, neither need nor want the nine or ten point. You want to use well, those checkers it, to fill in the four it, point. Even more important, two, coming in as the yeah. two-point anchor, what you do not want is the spares on the seven and the yeah. six-point strip. Uh, yes, I think a spare another on the good six reason why my my three-two from the ten-point was a bad play. No, well, no, yeah, but at least you put a spare on the six-point. Uh, eventually, <laughs> no. Oh, with the three-two, you didn't, did you? Oh, whoops. no, no, not right away. That that's that's another good. Yeah, that's I didn't I didn't see breaking the nine-point. Otherwise, I would have done it. Um, now Karen had no real decision with her 2-1. There's just some shuffling going on here. Um, six, oh, so two one by me, there was shuffling going on. Does it not like my shuffle? Mm. 
like seven to oh seven to six instead of eight to six. I'm not sure why that is. Karen uh, basically rolled a zero four and made a two point. Now I luckily build my, built my four point, and now it's just a matter of how to position. Where do I have a choice? Karen continues to do good things. Four two. You know, it was so close at the end. I wonder if any of these little plays would have no, made a that, difference. That's, that's, uh, that's just ah, KG crazy. got lucky and rolled a double. Otherwise, he yeah, would, basically would have lost. Simple as that. Let's see, nine to five. Oh, look, it like it, it likes not stacking on my five point by a small amount. I, I I played it and backed it up and played it and thought about sticking a checker to the ace point and the. Uh, this analysis has sticking a checker to the eight point is frac ace point is fractionally better than stacking them up on the uh, five point, which is what I did. Karen, then I had to, well, I didn't have to break my prime, so I didn't. I'm still trying to contain her both to win the race and for her board to break. So I did not want to give up my, um, I did not want to give up my eight point, and it would be, a, it would be an error to do so even though it maintains contact. Karen kept her kept her five prime for five points, which is good. Uh, I had no choice with five four. Karen had no choice with six three. I had no serious choice with three one. Uh, now Karen is all of a sudden trying to stave off a gamma where I've got a prime and she's disconnected. If I can close out two checkers, uh, a gamma becomes a big deal. But as luck would have it, uh, she got her checkers home. And three, two, what, what is it like here? Um, breaking the four point. Well, that's interesting. Would you have found that kit? Yeah. So yeah, just, no, I... just safer. You, you yeah, want the other guy. You, want, you don't want to hold them off. off. You want them to come in. And you keep a spare on the five point to handle. Yeah, I guess numbers. so. I guess so. That's a, it's a, it's, it's not a huge error, but it's an error. Then um, uh, <clears throat> choice, no choice. No Marty choice. says we're not seeing the positions being talked about. Breaking the four point lets him in more often. Mm. Oh, let it, yeah. Um, that's true, but coming in on the four, if I come in on the four point, uh, depending on with what, that might not be a terrible thing. But yes, opening the four point does let me in more often, and that may uh, may make it safer for for Karen. That's a good point. Now I had to uh, I had to attack with six five. Uh, I had choices with six four. Uh, and it didn't, it didn't quite like what I did, but it's, it's a photo. Um, it liked taking the six off and covering the ace. Uh, I did it the other way because I thought I had more life after death if I got hit on the ace. But it may also be slightly better for the race to cover the ace and not leave two points open. But that's, that's tiny, virtually insignificant. Now, the race happens straight away, and straight away it's... Um, close um you know I'm a, I'm a pretty big favorite here you know, those winning chances 86 percent to 14 percent 14 percent is a lot more than zero and it gets obviously it gets closer um i rolled double sixes which seemed to put it out of reach but karen's double ones was almost as good as a double sixes and then after karen's double sixes Things suddenly, um, things suddenly got close. She's suddenly back up to 25%. And I rolled uh, 6-2, which is inconsequential. And we're, we're, you know, she's now up to 28% by virtue of the fact that I didn't roll, I didn't roll doubles. And does it get closer? 6-1 by Karen, 5-1 by me. We're running out of time. And uh, now she's drifted down to 22%. And then um, 
two off for Karen, two off for me. Yeah. We're about done. Now it's just the uh, double twos or better. And that's it. Any other questions? Well, is there more is there more to do here, Karen? Anybody? Well, we haven't gone over game three yet, right? Oh, right. There's another game. Game three is lots of fun. Let's do that. All right. Where's the first uh, the first question mark? <clears throat> um, is this two six? It didn't like it. Didn't like uh, it. Didn't like coming out. Yeah, probably. Probably. I, I was uh, focusing on running the certainly the prettier pure. Well, it's not more pure. The prettier play is to use the use the slick six to do something else other than come out. The coming out is a little awkward with my blot on the two instead of the twenty four, and with the various double hit possibilities. So it likes either either in with a two and down to the seven or in with a two and down to five. And quite frankly, so do I. So that's it. I mean, the duplication from coming to the five point is not insignificant here. No, that's correct. And that's a good thing to look at. Because this is, I mean, th this is real duplication because she really wants to both hit and make the four point. Those are, those are both important to her. Right, and my coming out, my coming out to the 18 point di didn't duplicate anything. It, it made everything worse. So no, I think that's a that's a pretty clear that's a pretty clear error. Uh, I should not have done. I should have got. I should have got that right. And then there's a big red one. I don't. We don't like big red ones. Oh yeah. Um, yes. Go ahead and go ahead and uh, cover the blot. Take the three point board. And I've just got one checker back there. It's good. He's going to have trouble. He's going to have trouble getting away. And this, this is a pretty, I mean, I like the idea of running, of, of, even even with the, I got to wonder with six, five, even if you're going to come out with a six, maybe you should stop right there. Um, cover and hit is a very close second. And it doesn't show, it doesn't show, um, I don't know how to get more choices here. It doesn't show what coming out with a six and down with a five is, but the big thing is bad to, looking play. The big things to cover. Yeah, that's yeah like, the big thing is to cover like is everything yeah that, that that's just a i mean it's it's a it's a pretty big error but i un, i understand where karen was coming from now what happened next i then ran away i mean i i, I see the i see the walls closing in and i wanted to get out of there it turns out um is there yeah. any other serious play to consider yeah, just two down, but it's uh, slightly yeah. worse. The theme here is to get that last checker out, and then and then hope to win the race, or still. Singer and actress the, uh, Olivia Newton John has died at the age of. Yeah, we like we and so did uh, Georgie girl. Um, okay, boxes for Karen, and here. You know, it's it's uh, Aaron. I think you asked out loud. I never know. You never know when to. By, jump by, out by the way, the hold it. Is it is it possible that Karen's supposed to double here? I was looking at it. You know, largely because of the score. Um, it's a, it's a little it's a little far fetched. I mean, if she had her two point made, maybe. She's got a little teeny, a little only a little teeny racing lead, and a hit might be a big deal. But uh, here's the can you see the screen? The screen shows it's it's not really that close. It's good. Yeah. It's a good thing to think about, though. Yeah, I, was, I didn't I didn't think it was, but I was just looking at it. Yeah, now though, it's a good thing good thing to think about. And with similar pip counts, but her two point either her two point closed or no blot there. Um, but certainly with the two point closed, then then it, then. It, very well may have been, but that's not the position we had. Can you click on the Q button, please? Pardon? Can you click on the Q button? The Q? You are looking at the checker plane. Can you see it now? Um, no. Would you click on the Q button over there, please? I did. I think you are, we are looking at the checker right now. 
Uh, the one on my screen shows we'll, the, uh, Ka Karen, shows the Karen's, decision. Karen's, we're looking on Karen's screen, not your screen, KG. That's the problem. Oh, 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 unlucky. Yeah, Karen has to do the clicking. Oh, I can see. Well, like, then Karen should share with me what she's looking at. I thought you guys could see my screen. No. Uh, well, the if Karen hasn't caught up, it's a, a 0. 0.142 error to, to, uh, to double. Did Karen catch up? Uh, which move are you on? On your double sixes, bring up detail and cube. Got it. Now, can, can, can you see that, everybody? Yes, yeah. thank you. OK. Um, yes. you then see, my Karen, double you, fives didn't you, hit, but, but got right back in the race. And. Karen ran with five two. That doesn't. There's. Um, See, you, you've got to you've got to move along, Karen, because we can't. Otherwise, we can't see what KG is talking about. Go so to click on the double to, five. Uh, after my double fives, Karen's five two. Yeah. Do you want to see the cube detail or the checker detail? No, 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 I'm just trying to no. catch up because there's not really much happening there. Not much happening. It's just a straight race now. And where does I gain on the race a little bit? I gain again. Um, double ones. I'm not sure it really matters how I shuffle my checkers around with double ones. Um, they're all about the same. I think I think getting checkers onto the five point is the big deal here. You don't want to just stack them all on the six and leave only one on the five point. It's much better to get get some onto the five, possibly even onto the four, but getting on the six and five is a big deal. <clears throat> uh, Karen came home with six two. That seems reasonable. My six five is a little bit questionable, but not a big deal. Where to shuffle the where to shuffle the checkers? I wasn't happy with being forced to go deep with my sixes and fives, but uh, I didn't have a whole lot of whole lot of ways to fix that. Why should you win it? Well, I don't mean I mean deep. I mean like the four and three points. I got a little bit well, here. So I had to clear, go down to the two point. Can you just clear the midpoint? Um, I'm way ahead of you. Then double fives. Um, suddenly, I took a took the lead in the race. Karen <laughs> rolled a. A weak number, and then I had a. Uh, then I stewed about, you know, the match score and and just yeah. what the what's put, going put on the, here. Put the Karen, position can you up, get Karen. to where I rolled five one. Karen, you've got to put the position up. Look where okay. I rolled five one and played six yeah, we, off. We it's got it now. Twenty one. It's it's up there now. Okay, now look at uh, detail and Q. See, this is a. This is this this is certainly a money double i mean it's right at right about you know it's at 74 26 we're right at uh, you know uh big money double and take but uh at this match score it's i, I gotta be a little more cautious so i didn't double and apparently that's slightly correct uh is it up there yeah it's up there we can okay, now what happened next the race gets shorter um I, I played my 5-1, Karen rolled 5-2. Now before my 4-1, Karen, detail and cube. Oh, no double, no double by more. Right, now what about the checker play? So now hit, uh, what do you, what do you have hit to play? the checker as opposed to cube. What do you, what do you have to play? 4-1? Um, this is my 4-1. Oh, you have to keep a man on the four point. That's like thematic. Four is your big. No, you did too, which is awful. You don't want checkers on the two point because that's where your bad fours are going to be going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a, that's a good point. And the Woolsey the Woolsey law would would have it as equal, but the four point being you know, the difference in stacks. But oh yeah, better to go to the four point. I didn't like weakening the five point, but it was wrong by a lot. Yeah, well, see, the five point's not so important 
because your fives go okay. They go to the ace point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I see it all. It's your fours that are terrible. Right. So I should take the four off and then put the checker, then fill the hole again. Right. Yeah. No, that makes sense. And that's that's a that's a a clear a clear error. Yeah. For 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 a straight race, that's a pretty huge error. Yeah, that's a clear error. Karen took two check or took a checker off and filled the hole. That's a good thing. Now, what's happening here? Uh, the said, three two got two checkers off, so that that much worked. And Karen rolled five four and took two off. Now, what did I do with double fours that it didn't like? Clear the five. Should I should stack them up? No. Six to two, three times, and five to one. You don't. You yeah, don't okay. want to. You don't want to strip the five point and leave the extras on the six point. You know, right, I did something different. You put yeah, two second, yeah, you move two to the two and two to the one. You put two on the oh, ace oh, point. Oh, oh, okay. Just that, wrong. Seems, that seems a little silly. Yeah. Now, um, well, now, Aaron, now you now you prove you justified all your plays by having a slightly weaker position and making your double fours worse. So you suckered her into taking. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's I didn't suck her into taking. It's a fractional take. Someone said, right on the edge. someone said if Karen had made her two point with six five instead of running a back checker position becomes DT at this score before her six six. Okay, that's a that's a thread I can't follow. But yeah, I got this one, uh, the actual the where I cubed Karen, the actual cube. You can bring up detail and cube, you can see it's uh the 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 10 pips are just huge so despite the ugly mess i've got 10 pips <coughs> is too many and it's a great big double and a bear take no i, I thought it was a, a great sequence of plays by you if you had yeah kept the checker on the four if you check uh, kept the checker on the four point you'd have had one more man off and she'd have an easy pass right so i uh it was, it was very tricky yeah an accident and that then of course uh Karen has a forced redouble. No question about the take. And then there was a little bit of uh, a little bit of nail biting. I rolled mediocre. Double twos works. Five four was a, the, the double miss. The, the stupid hole. That's the reason. That's the reason she's got her bare take. Is here's a big fat five four which takes no checkers off. And. Then I was fortunate enough after Karen's after Karen's six one, she's down to eighteen percent, and it faded away. No, 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 no doubles except for my final doubles. Now we got to the end. There's no game four. I think we've done it. Thank you, Karen. We had fun. Well, thank you. Any other questions uh, that we didn't cover? Well, sounds like that's it. All right, I'm going to go away. Thank everybody for watching. Thank I hope you. there was some good stuff here. Uh, thanks for all those who contributed questions or constructive comments and look forward to seeing everybody next time around. Well, thank you very much, uh, KG, for doing this. And Take we care, will everybody. be uh, converting this uh, um, recording to a YouTube video and uh, sending out a notice when that's available. But you can also sign up on the womeninbackammon.com website uh, to get notices of when YouTube's uh, videos of these uh, learning matches, uh, learning sessions are available. So thanks to all of you for, for joining us and uh, come back and see us again on September 13th with Chris Bray. Okay, bye everybody.